Hey everyone! I had a really awesome book week this past week, so I'm excited to share what I've received. Um, I'm still getting over a bit of a cold, so apologies if my voice sounds kind of croaky. Um, so, to start with, I received another package from Thomas Allen and Son. They are really fantastic about sending me surprise packages, so thank you very much. I received Scorch by Gina D'Amico, which is the sequel to Croak, and I haven't read Croak yet, but I do have a copy, and it looks like a more humorous kind of paranormal series, so it sounds like it should be fun. I also received The Hallowed Ones by Laura Bickle. This was actually one of my Waiting on Wednesday picks a while ago. It sounds really cool, really different. It's kind of like an apocalyptic novel that involves the Amish. Amish culture has always really interested in me, so I, I'd like to see how she meshes the two ideas together. And then The Suburban Strange by Nathan Kotecki. I'd heard of this one, but I don't know a lot about it. It does seem to be a paranormal. Um, it involves a, a mysterious group of sophisticated friends called the Rosary. And they initiate this girl into a darkly beautiful world of alternative music, fashion, art, and literature. And then all these strange things start happening around her. And I guess she has to figure out what's going on. It sounds like it could be cool. And then lastly in that package was The Book of Styling, an insider's guide to creating your own look. And this book actually looks like a lot of fun. Like it goes through um, finding your look, all these different ones like the socialite, the tomboy, the preppy girl, the hipster, etc, etc. And then it takes a look at, at body type as well. I'm interested to flip through this and see what kind of fashion uh, tips I can pick up. And then from Sarah Beth Durst, I received Vessel. This cover is awesome. It's beautiful. So striking. Um, love the colors. Love the pose of the cover model. Um, the spine is pretty awesome too. And it came with a bookmark, and Sarah also signed it. Defy your destiny. And I've heard really good things about this one, so I'm definitely looking forward to reading it. And then, uh, yesterday I went to the library because they were having a book sale, and I picked up quite a few books for really good deals. So I got... Safe House by Meg Cabot and Missing You by Meg Cabot. And these are the third and fifth in the one eight hundred what in blah. The third and fifth in the one eight hundred Where Are You series. I have the second, so now I'm just missing a couple before I complete the series. I got the Ruby and the Smoke by Philip Pullman. And I have the third in this series too, so now I'm just missing the second. And another Meg Cabot book, Abandon. I think I've heard kind of mixed things about this one. Um, like, it's not quite as good as some of her other books, but it was a buck, so I was like, what the heck. Social Suicide by Gemma Halliday. Uh, this is the sequel to Deadly Cool, and I haven't actually read Deadly Cool yet. But, I got it out from the library while I was there, so that works. And then I also bought The Creek by Jennifer Holm. Uh, she's the author of the Boston Jane series, I have the first couple in that series. But this sounds totally, totally different from that. Um, it's kind of a 
thriller type of book involving this boy who terrorized an entire town before he was sent away, apparently, and now he's back and terrible things are happening again. Sounds like it could be pretty creepy. And then the last one I got from the library book sale was Virals by Kathy Reichs. She's the author of the Bones series. I haven't actually read any of the Bones books, but <laughs> I love the TV show. This one was a buck, so I thought, what the heck, why not? And then I also went to Chapters yesterday and got a couple of books from their clearance section. I got Leviathan by Scott Westerfeld for just $2. This one's a middle grade steampunk read. Um, I got it out from the library a while ago and didn't really get into it, but uh, I have heard some good things about it. Um, and I like the cover, it's really shiny. <laughs> um, and uh, I did like the Ugly series by Scott Westerfeld. So I figure I should give it another try. And the other one I got was Glow by Amy Kathleen Ryan. I've heard some mixed things about this one as well, but again, two dollars. Why not? Those are the books I've gotten over the past couple weeks, and I'd love to hear about what books you've bought or received. Bye!